even with the added pressure of European football, we're still performing better in the league so far than we did last term. Welcome back. Dollboy, Club 5, Episode 9. We have AC Milan in the league. And then after that, we have a game against Botev Plovdiv in the uh, Europa Conference League. I need to go on and show you what we've been up to. But you can see that we're currently in European position, so we're doing pretty handy. Valenzuela has six goals, which is fantastic, considering it took him 16 scorers first with us. Um, and Ben Ahmed, who's our holding mid, has managed to get himself sent off already, which I'm, I'm a little bit miffed about. Before we do jump in to the episode, if you could do me the favour of liking, subscribing, showing your support on the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. And it would just, it would just help me get my little ugly face out there. If you want to share me directly to people, even better. Since our previous episode, we have played Sassuolo. We beat them 4-2. We then picked up a 2-1 win against Torino. A 5-0 win against Red Star. And that was away as well. And this was the game that I was kind of the most apprehensive about. Um, Valenzuela did eventually get himself his hat-trick in that game. Jesus, he made it hard for himself. So he scored two goals. He got a penalty. Missed that. Add a goal. Disallowed. Add another goal. Disallowed. And then the 84th minute, eventually completed his hat-trick. But outside of that, we absolutely battered him. Following on from that, we had Spal. We beat them 3-0. We played Atalanta and we picked up a 1-1 draw. A 3-1 win then against Roma. We played Milsam or Milsami or High. Uh, we beat them 2-0. And most recently, we got beat quite convincingly against Juventus. So the red card didn't necessarily have an impact on the game because we were already 3-0 down at that point, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. Against Milan, who are currently in fourth place, only two positions ahead of us. We can see ourselves with a win in this game going all the way up to third, I think it will be, because we'll actually take precedent over Sassuolo because we've got a better head-to-head -head record. So that'd be nice. Get ourselves in the uh, Champions League positions. It's kind of what I'm aiming for this year, but at least I do want European football again, preferably Europa League. We're still going with the two holding forwards and the one advanced forward, if you can call them a holding forward. It's not done us too bad so far. If needs be, we can shuffle them around. But we'll go with Okaye in goal, Kostic, Eile, Carmo and Aron as the back four, Kera just in front of them with uh, Cherky and Castrovilli as our Mazalas. And then up top, we have San Giorgio, Mota and Valenzuela as the striker. Milan starting off the game with a throw in on the left. Teo throws it short, it's gone back to him on the wing, and he's managed to make some space. Pops it towards Kessie in the middle, and Gonzalo Ramos scores against us inside two minutes. Not going to go winning games if we're going throwing them away within, what, 90 seconds of kickoff? Really easy for him. Teo, Kessie, and then he's in front of our whole defence. I mean, it's just not good from us. It's good from them, to be fair. They, they play quite well, but... Really poor on our side. So throw in once more for Milan. Short to Singo from Salamakas. He's, uh, he's found Kessie in the middle, completely unmarked on the edge of the area. I don't know if he was stood between the gap of the centre-backs and full-back, but there's just no one even attempting to pick him up. We're too concerned with the forwards that we've just let the centre-mid be completely open in the middle. See, Liao steps up here. There's no reason for him to be back. He can cover in the gap. But it just allows Kessie the space. Good finish from him, again. But poor, very poor. A corner for Milan. I have made slight tweaks to our tactic. We nearly conceded again then. I've made slight tweaks. Uh, I've pushed our fullbacks to be fullback attacking. And um, the strikers, I have swapped them. So I've got just the one deep line forward. And then the two on the outside are advanced forwards now. Hoping that they're like a little bit more support up front from the fullbacks will allow to get us further forward. Salamakas puts it to Teo on the left side. He does manage to get into the box. And Rafael Liao misses his header. This, this, there's a clear golfing class here looking at this. I'm not getting the monetary support. I don't know if I actually told you. We've got a new board. They're crap. <laughs> 
they're probably just as bad as the other ones, Expect, except now, uh, instead of just giving me no money, they're giving me no money and expecting me to sign players that are going to cost a lot of money. So I don't know what they want from me. This game appears to be finished. We have a highlight. Can we claw back a, a little shred of dignity? Shirky, <coughs> Chirky, Chirky with the free kick, not Shirky. Puts it towards, do you know what? That's fantastic. That just is. There's 65 seconds left on the clock. Might be a little bit too little, too late, but I'm going to encourage the boys regardless. So if we can sneak a point out of this game, we didn't. We didn't sneak anything out of this game. It finished 2 1. And judging by the stats and the XG, it just was deserved. If anything, our goal wasn't. <laughs> but Shirky's free kick was sublime, so we'll give him that. And we'll just we'll just move on. What is his free kick taking at least? He's 15. He's quite strong. We now have a game against Botev Plovdiv, who are actually top of our group. So obviously we beat Milsami and Red Star. But they did exactly the same. So they actually beat Mulsami 4-0. And they also beat Red Star 5-0. Turns out Red Star aren't actually as strong as I thought they might be. Doesn't stop me. Having a little look around, see if they've got any uh, wonder kids or anything knocking about. Because I know Serbia are quite handy for that madness. But it's the, it's the battle of the, the group leaders. I, I do hope that we have enough to see off the Bulgarian team. I have gone for a little, little tiny change in this game. I'm trying to use, instead of a deep line forward, to push him back into an advanced playmaker, because that's where Ryan Cherky is, is best, apparently. So we'll give this a shot, and we'll see what he can do. I'll put him as an engonch, just sat behind him. Uh, I've moved the fullbacks also to be attacking. The lineup will be Okaye in goal. We've gone with Kostic, Kera, Carmo, and Aron as the back four. Uh, ben Ahmed is back in with Zakarian and Castrovilli in the middle. Shirky playing just behind San Giorgio and Valenzuela as our strikers. Do have a little bit of an issue out at right back at the moment. Uh, Vanderson is currently out um, injured, but he should be back soon. And then Salva Ferreira came in for him uh, in the game he picked up his injury and also got an injury. So he's out between four weeks and two months. Tonev with a corner for Plovdiv. Put towards their back post. I think it struck the near post when it was headed back across. But it was cleared out from us, regardless. Valenzuela is attacking. Everybody else is sprinting forward to try and give him... He's just run out of play. He just ran directly out of play. Corner. Nick, it's not a corner. It's a free kick, that one. To save, and it is now a corner. Maybe I was just being pathetic instead of pathetic. That was a bit mean, but it, it worked, so it's fine. Kero gets the head away, and Raykov picks up the loose ball. They're looking quite comfortable. I don't know why. I I don't know. I don't know how strong Botev Plovdiv are, but I assume not very in comparison to the grand scheme of things. But they they definitely put the two teams they've played already to the sword and they are going against us pretty pretty strong. Cherky with another free kick. His one goes just over and I managed to say the correct term then as well. Goal kick. Oh, I'm on, I'm on fire. Minchev lunts it forward. Carmo wins the header for us. San Giorgio knocks it through. Valenzuela's through on goal. He's at the post. Oh, he's at the post. Cherky's free kick. San Giorgio's at the back post. It's in the net. Ref's getting involved. I think he might be offside. I am slightly concerned about Valenzuela. He just doesn't seem to be a good striker. He's got all the stats to be a very good striker, but he just doesn't. They're all offside. Every single one of them. What are they playing at? Throwing. Plovdiv, very deep in their own half. San Giorgio intercepts, gets it across. Valenzuela scores. He was almost put in a position where he couldn't miss. And he, he didn't look like he was going to. So fortunately, he has managed to put the ball in the net. But Jesus, it took an easy opportunity for him to do so. He'd done all the hard work earlier. He got round the goalie. Kicked it wide. And it's that time. Put it in the net. Well done, lad. 10 out of 10. Okaye is taking a free kick out there for some reason and then plays it right short to the person next to him rather than just letting the centre back take it. But who am I for questioning them? Uh, San Giorgio nods it towards Valenzuela. He's gone through the gap in the defenders and kicked it at the goalkeeper. At least he hit the target. 
We have a free kick on the left. Cherokee puts it to the back post. It's ended up in the net. Kara won the original header. Goalkeeper made the save and it kind of fell at Carmo's feet and he's just stabbed it home. But decent ball over from Cherokee all the way to the back post. Yeah, it's just really unfortunate from him, but I am not going to complain. We'll take the goal. We'll move on. Kabangu with a throw in. Puts it short to Tonev for Plovdiv. And we've intercepted. Castrovilli back to Ben Ahmed, who's booked again, which I'm worried about. San Giorgio, I think, he, he believes his role at the moment is pick up ball, turn around, kick it forward. You can move with said ball if needs be, but I don't know. I don't know if my assistant just hasn't told him that bit. Carmo and Kara have the ball at centre-back. Into Zakarian. Valenzuela sees the uh, man outside. Zakarian, good ball into Valenzuela. And he's hit the post. Could have fed it across. But the strikers don't do that in this game, so I'm not going to hold that against him. Kabangu, throw in. Short to Makuku Bas ba Basogog. Oh, that was a struggle. Uh, Barawan? Kabangu. They're... Um, they're just not being bullied by us, and I'm I'm not keen. We play well against strong teams, or at least we did last year. I just don't know. I don't know. Okay, yeah, throws it short to Carmo, Ben Ahmed, and Aaron. Back into Carmo. Got a few tired legs knocking about, but no one like drastic. Might have a look at maybe taking Kostic and Carmo off at half time. Depends on, on if it's 3 0 at half time, I definitely will. To put it across, San Giorgio has won the header. And he's put it just over. So just for the interest, while it's half time, and as I say, for the interest of keeping my players fresh, I'm going to bring on Maori, give him his first taste of European football. I believe. I might be wrong. I might have already played him. I have. Ignore that. Ott have made a sub as well, as well as uh, us bringing Maori on for the to the fresh legs. I probably should take Ben Ahmed off, just because I don't want to see him getting another red card. But Kostic has the ball in their area. Tries to put it across. He's still possessions with us. Cherky's put it in now. Okay, he was offside when the ball was received by him. Minchev has a goal kick for Plovdiv. Forward, San Giorgio, Cherky. You've got, you've got a lot of forward runners. A lot of space being taken up. I'm, I'm a big fan. Kostic into Zakarian. He's made it into the area. Back to Kostic. Back into Zakarian. And he's rattled the crossbar. And it's gone in. Kostic and uh, Zakarian playing really well between each other there. There's about three or four players around them and they've still managed to find the space and just rifles it against the underside of the crossbar. Just coming up to the hour mark. While we are 3-0 up, I am going to take Ben Ahmed off for Kara and I'll bring Eileen. on. So it allows us just to kind of not get him sent off really more than anything. We'll leave Valenzuela on. We'll bring off San Giorgio for Mota. I will check. He can play complete forward, so I'll do so there. I want them to stay forward, so I wouldn't, I'd, I'd normally have a support and an attack, but considering we've got the attacking mid behind them, I'm going to just leave the two strikers on attack and see if that works. But Maori has the ball for us. Over to Eile and over to Kara. Forward to Kara, I probably should have said. Kostic has it out on the right side. Back into Zakarian. See, this is the thing, like, because the... The links on this game are so rigid. Realistically, in my formation, the fullbacks and the wide centre mids, the, the corresponding side, they should have a link because they have a lot of times so that they have to work together. But it just doesn't care. I'm assuming they have a decent chemistry between them, but I'll never know. Just into the last 10 minutes now, a hopeful ball forward, which was uh, intercepted by a player with a name that had far too many letters in. Uh, Lingue. I need to know what his name is now, because I only caught it out of the corner of my eye. Has he disappeared? Here he is. Oh, it's Christoph. It's not too bad, actually. Uh, Stavrev. And he puts it back to Lingue. They're, um... Oh, Christosov. Not just Christoph. Uh, Tylev. Princi. Nikolov. There's... There, there's no urgency from them, but sometimes that isn't bad. Because they're still moving forward. They're just not, like, get the ball forward as quick as we can. He nearly absolutely mugged my goalie off there, but fortunately, it went just over for him. Into the last five minutes or so now, there's another highlight. Of course there is. Zakarian intercepts. We'll make it four. I'll take that. Valenzuela, Zakarian, Kostic. Eile. Just, you know what, guys? Just keep it. Keep possession. Don't worry about running about or doing anything too quick. 
Good ball through to Valenzuela. I think he was offside. The ref doesn't seem to be getting involved. Brilliant run, good finish from him then, if that's the case. I am going to just slow these down then, just because we don't necessarily need to be doing anything more now. And there's no point in tiring them out more than they already may be. But we'll just slow the game down a little bit. Good play here. Cherky forward to Castrovilli. Sees Valenzuela was miles on. And he just pokes it in the near corner. Convincing win. 4 0. We'll be back next episode with the games against Lazio and Inter. Uh, only change to that might be if um, I somehow haven't confirmed our progression from the group stage. Uh, if that is the case, then I'll come back for Red Star and Lazio. Uh, but yeah, Lazio, Inter, we'll be back for those. I'll let you know what's happened in the games between, where we finished in our group stage, and how many points we got. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, if you could do me the favour, as I mentioned a few times, just like and subscribing, all that madness. There are some items on screen now which you can click on if you'd like to. And thank you very much for your time.